Patrick Mahomes is the NFL's biggest star without a doubt. I mean, he just won his second Super Bowl. He's got a large family network that has proven crucial to his success. Stay tuned to learn more about Patrick Mahomes' unique family life. This is NFL Dive. Patrick LaVon Mahomes II was born on September 17, 1995 to Pat Mahomes and Randy Martin in Tyler, Texas. Patrick's parents had a short marriage while Pat was a professional baseball player, but during that time they had Patrick and have continued to raise him together. So what else is there to know about Patrick's pro-athlete dad? Patrick LaVon Mahomes Sr., better known as Pat Mahomes, was born on August 9, 1970 in Bryan, Texas. Pat's parents also lived and worked in East Texas. His dad, Johnny, worked in the oil industry and was also his baseball coach during much of his youth career. Pat's mom, Cindy, was a nurse for her career until she was unfortunately involved in a serious car accident. That accident put Cindy in a wheelchair permanently. However, her determination and tenacity even after this accident served to inspire Pat in his own life and career. Growing up in the small town of Lindale, Texas, Pat was an avid athlete. He played baseball, basketball, and football throughout his youth, and eventually he became a star at the high school level. He was still shorter than the average athlete during high school, standing at 5'9", but as we all know, size isn't everything. Despite his small size, he excelled, becoming an all-state quarterback on the football field, a prolific score at the point guard position in basketball, and a dominant shortstop and pitcher on the baseball diamond. Talk about an all-around athlete. He was pursued by several colleges to play each sport collegiately, and especially thought about attending the University of Arkansas to play both baseball and basketball, but one sport was his true love. In the end, Pat decided to go professional in baseball right out of high school. He was drafted in the sixth round of the 1988 MLB June Amateur Draft by the Minnesota Twins as a starting pitcher. He worked his way through the minor league system for the Twins over the next few years, starting out with the Elizabethton Twins and eventually reaching the AAA level in 1991 with the Portland Beavers. In 1992, Mahomes made his professional debut for the Minnesota Twins at the age of only 21. Mahomes was a consistent player for the Twins over the next few seasons, although he never played at the level of a star in the league. He would eventually be traded to the Boston Red Sox and even went on to play in Japan with the Yokohama Bay Stars for a little more than a season. When Mahomes returned to the MLB, he switched over to a relief role and he was much more effective in this role. He helped the New York Mets to a deep playoff run in the 1999 season and after this stint with the Mets though, he again started to bounce throughout the league, playing for different teams every season. His teams included the Texas Rangers, the Chicago Cubs, and the Pittsburgh Pirates before he finished his career primarily in the minor leagues and independent leagues. Overall, Mahomes had a pretty long and successful baseball career. He played for a total of 11 seasons in Major League Baseball, with portions of 10 more seasons being played in the minor leagues. Let's hope that we get to see Patrick in the NFL for that long of a time. Since finishing his professional career, Pat has spent plenty of time supporting his son Patrick in his athletic endeavors, but also maintains his passion for baseball as the coach of an elite baseball team in Texas. He even wanted Patrick to follow in his baseball footsteps, saying, quote, He grew up in the clubhouse. He was always around the game, and he was always the best player on his baseball team. He was an unbelievable shortstop. He always led his team in hitting, and he threw 97 miles per hour on the mound, so I always thought he was going to be a baseball player. End quote. He also mentioned this in an interview done in 2020. I wasn't mad. I, I, you know, I always thought he was going to be a baseball player, but you know, in the at the bottom line, you know, it's his decision, it's his career, and whatever he wants to do, he do, he does. But um, you know, I wouldn't have chosen. It. Of course, though, Patrick ultimately went his own way, focusing on football and making his way into the NFL. There was somebody else who helped him to make that decision, though. His mother, Randy Martin. Randy Martin was born on January 18, 1976 in Troop, Texas. Randy grew up in Texas where she was a big part of a big family. 
Not only does she have three siblings, but she also has a whopping 56 first cousins. Sibling, 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 sibling. Her hometown of Troop only had a couple of thousand people, so it's a fair guess that her family made up a pretty sizable portion of that area's population. Later on, Randy met Pat, who was already a professional baseball player at the time, and the two quickly got married and started a family of their own, first having Patrick and later having Jackson. She raised her children as her then-husband lived the difficult life of a professional athlete for some time, but eventually the two would get divorced. However, they do remain friendly and have come together to successfully raise both of their children. About Patrick, Randy says, I'm very, very proud. I'm, you know, like, we're, we're I always say we're blessed. He's blessed. He's blessed to be able to do his dream and, and to, to live, you know, doing exactly what he loves, you know. Since 2005, Randy's main job has been working as an event planner at Holly Tree Country Club. Maybe that's where Patrick gets his ability to stay organized on the field. In addition to this job, though, and raising her children, she's also started her own platform called QB Producer. She uses this platform as a way to share her own thoughts as a part of her famous son Patrick's life, as well as to sell merchandise like purses, bags, and totes. Patrick isn't the only son that Randy and Pat had, though, and we're guessing that you've probably heard of this next controversial family member. Jackson Mahomes was born on May 15, 2000 to his parents Pat Mahomes and Randy Martin. He grew up in Tyler, Texas, and attended White House High School there as well. He started out playing football and baseball much like his dad and his brother, but took a different path than his father and brother did by playing basketball. At 6 foot 7 inches tall, Jackson was a dominant player in the post at the power forward position, and he was also a great rebounder and scorer for the White House High School team, helping them to a district championship during his time. Sounds like a young Dennis Rodman to me. His abilities allowed him the opportunity to continue playing at the collegiate level, but he decided that basketball wasn't his passion and opted to ultimately go a different route. Jackson has always had a passion for social media and has accumulated quite a big following through his posts on various platforms. His largest social media platform following is on TikTok, where he has over a million followers, but he also has a substantial voice on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Jackson posts a variety of content on TikTok, but is probably best known for his posts of common dance trends. Come on, I know you've seen them. He often does his dances at Patrick's games, which has helped to amplify his following, but has also gotten him in some hot water for certain videos. For example, he once attracted a lot of attention for doing a dance on the field when the Chiefs visited the Washington Commanders. He happened to be doing his dance directly on top of a tribute to former Washington player Sean Taylor, who was killed in 2007. However, Jackson did later apologize, saying, quote, I want to sincerely apologize for accidentally being on the Sean Taylor number 21 at FedEx Field. We were directed to stand in that area, and I meant absolutely no disrespect to him or his family. End quote. Despite his best intentions, Jackson continues to be controversial for his social media presence, but he continues to post either way. I say if he can deal with the criticism, eh, keep it going, man. Outside of TikTok, Jackson has made some other on-screen appearances alongside his famous sibling Patrick, who famously has a sponsorship with his insurance company State Farm, and he once tapped Jackson to appear alongside him in a commercial spot. In the commercial, the two brothers were each sitting in barbershop chairs, and though Jackson didn't have any lines, he got something else to add to his resume, at least. Speaking of his resume, Jackson attended the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and studied marketing. He graduated in 2022 and has said that he wants to combine his experience as a TikTok star and his marketing education in a future profession. In a video on his YouTube channel, he shared, quote, if I had a dream job, it'd be really to work in the marketing industry, and I would love to connect influencers with brands, end quote. Jackson is very close with his brother Patrick, and nothing is more evident of this than the fact that Patrick chose his younger brother to be his best man at his destination wedding in Maui. I'm guessing that when Jackson gets married, Patrick will be his right-hand man as well. He's also best friends with Patrick's wife, Brittany. The two spend lots of time together and can often be seen posting TikToks or attending Chiefs games together. Maybe he's their good luck charm. Jackson might be Patrick's only brother that shares both parents, but he does have a couple of half-siblings who are sort of mysterious. Mia Randall was born on July 12, 2011, and she's the daughter of Patrick's mother Randy from a separate relationship. 
Like her half-brother Patrick, Mia loves sports, playing many including football, soccer, basketball, and tennis. She was awarded an Awesome Athlete Certificate for her sports achievements, maybe the first of many awards. Mia is currently in the fifth grade, but there's not a lot of other information out there about her. Patrick does have one other half-sibling, though. Zoe Mahomes was born sometime during 2015, but reports aren't completely clear on when exactly this was. Her parents are Patrick's father Pat and an unnamed partner. Like Mia, Zoe also loves sports. She plays a bunch of them, including basketball and soccer, apparently. Maybe one day we'll see her joining the family tradition on the professional level, but until then, there's not much else that's known about Zoe. Hopefully she continues to be successful in everything she does. This next person might be the most important person in Patrick's life and the biggest reason for his success. Brittany Mahomes, born Brittany Matthews, was born on August 31st, 1995 in Tyler, Texas. She grew up in Tyler, Texas playing soccer from an early age and was a star on her high school team at White House High School. Brittany first started dating her future husband Patrick when they were both in high school and when they met, Patrick was only in 10th grade and Brittany was a grade above him in the 11th grade. Minor age differences aside, the two were best friends and deeply in love right from the start. After her high school career, Brittany transitioned to playing soccer at the collegiate level, staying local to play at the University of Texas Tyler. Here she again excelled as a forward and during her four years on the team, she totaled 31 goals in only 74 appearances to go along with another 16 assists. That's actually pretty crazy. Is there a spot on the US women's national team for her off a of name recognition alone? Even more impressive, her team's record was an amazing 56, 13, and five during those four years. Turns out Patrick's not the only one who has a penchant for winning. She graduated in 2017 with a bachelor's degree in kinesiology from the school, but a full-time career in that field would have to wait. That's because, just like Patrick, she was headed for a pro career of her own. She got an incredible offer from the Icelandic women's soccer team UMF Oftralding and decided to take the leap. She later told the local Tyler newspaper, quote, I didn't even see myself playing college soccer when I graduated high school. Every coach I have had at UT Tyler made a huge impact on my love for this game and my decision to play professional soccer. An opportunity opened up for me in Iceland, and I could never pass up such an amazing experience to go do what I love." End quote. Brittany played professional women's soccer in Iceland during the 2017 season, but this ended up being her only season playing at the pro level in the sport. After her time in Iceland ended, she returned to the US where she moved to Kansas City to join Patrick, who was getting ready for his second season with the Chiefs. She got a front row seat as Patrick became an NFL superstar and also got to celebrate him after he won his first Super Bowl for the Kansas City Chiefs in February 2020. When the Chiefs received their rings on August 1st, 2020, Brittany even got a ring of her own, that is, an engagement ring from Patrick. He proposed to her in a VIP box at the Chiefs' home stadium, Arrowhead, in front of a wall of white flowers, and of course, she said yes. As it turns out, Kansas City fits with Britney's interests pretty well too because of how much Kansas City loves soccer. It's no surprise that the city received their own women's soccer expansion team in December 2020, known as the Kansas City Current. Taking full advantage of the opportunity, Britney even became a part owner of the new franchise, which is now a part of the National Women's Soccer League. Some of her other professional pursuits, including starting an online training program in 2019, which she uses to keep her passion for sports and athletics going, even though she's not playing soccer anymore. Her fitness brand is called Brittany Lynn Fitness, named for her first and middle names. I'm betting she can get some fitness tips from her star athlete husband if she ever needs them too. Brittany and Patrick got married on March 12th, 2022. They had a destination wedding in Maui, Hawaii, attended by all of their closest friends and family. This finally tied together their love story, which was almost 10 years along by that time. That wasn't the only milestone that the two have recently shared, though. They already have two beautiful children. Sterling Sky Mahomes was born to Patrick and Brittany Mahomes on February 20th, 2021. Her parents initially wanted Sterling's life to remain private despite their celebrity status, but they have since decided to share pictures of her on their social media, starting when she was about four months old. Not long after this decision, Patrick said, quote, Obviously at first we wanted to keep stuff private and not have her out there. It almost became like a burden to try to hide her at all times when we do stuff, and this coming season we want her to be at the games and not have to worry about hiding her the entire time. 
We just want to give her the most normal life that she possibly can so she can grow and have friends and learn and get better and better every single day." End quote. Since then, Sterling has been a huge part of both of her parents' lives. She was the flower girl at their wedding in March 2022, driving herself down the aisle to spread flowers in a little blue car. Outside of that, Sterling has been a part of many other social media posts and figures to be the star of her own show going forward, though she does have some big sister duties to take care of. Patrick LaVon Mahomes III was born on November 28, 2022 to Patrick and Brittany Mahomes. He's only a few months old, so there's not much to report on him yet, but he does have a unique nickname with its own unique origin, as Patrick said, quote, My brother Jackson, whenever we were trying to find something that was a little unique and different, he said, what about prawns? It fits perfectly with Sterling. So we went with that. It works out well. He can have his own thing now. When he's not Patrick, he's bronze, even though he's Patrick. And Sterling and bronze can have that connection moving forward. End quote. We're guessing that the third Patrick in the Mahomes family might have some athletic ability of his own. Who knows where we'll see bronze in the future. We hope you enjoyed the story of Patrick Mahomes family. Who is your favorite family member? Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on the families of football's biggest stars. Touchdown.